Many thanks for joining us on the newsroom. I'm Okbayemi Owosheni, and these are the stories we're tracking at the moment. The federal government is seeking the review of international and regional laws to protect undersea cables. The Nigerian government says to engage countries like Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, and others to accelerate efforts in the direction. Minister of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy, Bosu Tijani, disclosed this in a post on X on Sunday. The minister in his post said on the unfortunate incident of the submarine cable cut would help to breed anti-fragility into Nigeria's digital economy. The Federal Ministry of Transport has said the Memorandum of Understanding signed with UK company MPH Rail Development for the proposed Port Harcourt Calabar Enugu Abuja standard gauge rail project is not yet cast in stone and is still being reviewed. A statement by the Ministry's Director of Press and Public Relations, Olujimi Oyetomi, on Sunday explained that the MOU signed on 12 February 2024 by the Minister of Transportation, Saeed Al Kali, on behalf of the Ministry, was to provide a platform for further discussions between parties to ascertain the possibilities of executing the project or otherwise. The federal government has begun the mass mutual of the Nigerian Army formation nationwide. At the flag off of the exercise at the headquarters of the 9th Brigade of the Nigerian Army, Ikeja Military Cantonment, at the weekend, Minister of Paya Adebayo Adelabu said the exercise will end the era of estimated billions in the past sector. He explained that for the current exercise, the sum of 12.7 billion has been released out of a total of 40 billion naira for the mass mission project. And the federal government is in talks with the World Bank to complete the processes of obtaining over $1 billion to address the challenges facing internally displaced persons and their host communities, as well as bolster rural access and agricultural marketing in the country. According to the documents provided on the bank's website, the IDP initiative is meant to improve access to resilient and inclusive basic services and economic opportunities for IDPs and their host communities in displacement-affected local government areas in the northern part of the country. And on the foreign scene, the European Union has announced a 7.4 billion euro aid package and an upgraded relationship with Egypt, part of a new deal to stem migration flows to Europe that has been criticized by a rights group. The aid package includes both grants and loans over the next three years, with the EU saying it is upgrading its relationship with the Arab world's most populous country to a strategic partnership. And on sports, Super Eagle striker Taiwa Iwoniyi has once again been ruled out of the international duties for Nigeria after Nottingham Forest manager Nuno Espirito Santo confirmed that he has picked up an injury days before the club's English Premier League fixture against Luton Town. Iwoniyi could be out until April 2024, meaning that the player has been ruled out of Nigeria's friendlies against Ghana and Mali later this month. And that's it on the Nujima at this moment. Many thanks for joining us. I'm Okbayemi Owoshini. Bye for now.